we like to say that Mithra is like fast, Rob is a big body. Rob can kind of get like destroyed in the matter of like seconds. So like, mm -hmm. you know, that's kind of where he actually needs to Im implement that actual like, you know, aggression when, you know, they're not, you know, with Pyra. And already we're seeing Frozen. I think she was maybe a little bit scared. You know, she's just taking a little bit slow already, but we are getting some advantage going on. You know, Zamba with the lead at 56, 64, 76%. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, trying to get that ledge trap, not going to get too much off of that. However, we are going to see, you know, just Zamba already kind of going off and going to get that gyro to death. That was such a good snipe from Zamba. And oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh. oh no. Um, so, yes, very good from Zamba right out of the gate there. We saw a big conversion into huge damage. Um, we did see Frozen comeback swing going for some good conversions as well, and then Zomba with the coverage on the air dodge that ultimately led to the kill across that. So Zomba's offense still coming in clear as day. We'll see what uh, Frozen's adaptation could be. Absolutely, and we're already seeing, you know, the pick into um, Pyramithra, and I'm going to be honest, this is exactly what I was thinking. It's definitely going to be more of a harder, you know, um, you know, kind of position for um, Frozen to be in because, you know, this is where we can see a lot more damage than she needs to, to be taken. However, she is going to get that up B into death. Um, I don't remember specifically what percent, you know, Zombo is at. However, this is what she needs. She did kind of get thrown for a loop in that first talk, and she is on her last talk already, but we can definitely see this game go pretty much and I definitely love that you know um, side B um, flame sword um, that kind of came out that game right there however it's not gonna do too much yet because it is gonna trade and we're just gonna see you know Zampa be a little bit in the lead I mean more than a little bit because this is at you know 61% however mm -hmm. she's gonna switch um, Zampa I mean, Ooh. <laughs> I just, uh, She's gonna switch over to uh, Mithra, but get caught on that after the uh, the tra uh, the change. I don't recall if the change has any invincibility. I think I've been told that it doesn't, and that even if you try to time something with it, it's not like PT, and you can get swatted out. Of yeah, it. no. Um, I, it, it, you can still get swatted out of it, but um, definitely like she kind of switched, and then <coughs> so sorry. Um, she kind of got like you know side beat and dead mm -hmm. yep. it's a tough place to be honestly with pretty much any character in the game against Rob off stage when Rob's got the resources packed in um, but I think going into game two with FD we'll see an interesting sort of dynamic here where there's less room for frozen to land but there's more room to juggle Zomba uh, so we'll see if that comes into play um, honestly for sure so kind of what I definitely love this choice um, from Frozen, she probably kind of wanted to have a little bit less space for, you know, Zombies to kind of just run to whenever, you know, like, they might be in disadvantage, and it's kind of just kind of working in for, for her favor. I mean, you know, kind of even, it's a little bit less of what we saw in that first game where she got immediately just, like, her first thought, like, you know, just taken from her immediately. So this is definitely kind of what we want to see, and very weird how that traded with Gyro, however, you know, this can definitely be very scary for Zamba. I mean, not anymore. I think a lot of the power left. But how I, I will mm -hmm. say, I think Frozen, the way she's using um, the side B with Pyra to potentially do a trade, if something trades, it might be like eating a gyro, but that side B stays out there and persists, which still gives Frozen the chance to get in and start an offense. Absolutely. And we're going to see Frozen take that first dock and not gonna lose that stock just yet however this is kind of where she needs to be and as i say that she loses that first stock with a down um the miss tech into up smash um honestly this is th this is looking like such a better game than from what we saw i love you know that uh, read on the you know um di there however this is kind of where we're gonna see a, her use a little bit more of her advantage taking Zamba, 71%. I mean, as much as Mithra doesn't do that much damage, she definitely put on a whole lot of percent. Not going to kill with that up smash just yet, but she was looking for Zamba and um, to kind of just land very poorly. I mean, this is definitely looking like Frozen's game here. Mm -hmm. And we saw a lot of rep right there for trying to catch Rob's landing, who, well, does have things like the back air, the float to keep Rob, you know, a little tricky on the recovery. Um, Mithra very fast and Pyro with very big hitboxes can make it difficult for him to get back down because Rob is still a very big character. Absolutely. And was going to go for that tech, 
um, um, that tech um, force option, but not gonna get it yet. Not gonna die just yet to that Nair. However, we're definitely seeing a very nice kill from that up air. Gonna roll and just take that immediately. So nice from Frozen. She is in the lead right now, and this is where we're gonna see a little bit more of that advantage. We need to see her, you know, you know, take Zamba for a ride and gonna mash out of that. Um, just starting a little bit more advantage and Zamba it needs to be really careful right here because you know This isn't the first game Zamba is kind of getting thrown in a loop whenever you know frozen does actually get in like we're seeing right now 64% and gonna go for that side B just gonna put Zamba right back off stage You know this is kind of this we love this position that frozen is in Yep, it's very strong, the uh, the side B, the prominence revolt, to catch a landing. Very large move, so regardless of what had happened, Zamba maybe could have landed and shielded, but that's a commitment that you need to make to just fall all the way to the ground, which is very scary when you're landing with a high percent like that. Definitely nice, and this is exactly, I was actually going to point that out. You know, we kind of need to see Frozen actually kind of, you know, just make it into a situation where she can kind of just bait, you know, out a little bit of movement speed with Mithra, but actually take, you know, the stock with um, Pyra. And, you know, we saw that almost work in effect just a little bit too early on that. I definitely think, um, you know, a little bit more um, ad advantage was needed before she actually went for that. However, she's at 50%. She also needs to be very careful because, you know, Rob can kill you. <laughs> mm -hmm, absolutely. So, we saw mm -hmm. some of it a little bit right there with... Um, just even a poorly spaced uh, back air or fair or nair or something on Rob Shield can mean a fair into a tech chase, into a mix up, and then you're off stage. And definitely gonna take that, you know, game with an up smash. That was not what happened that first game, and I love that that's not what happened the first. Wait, what? <laughs> that wasn't what happened the first game, and we love that it wasn't what happened the first game because she definitely played that the way that she needed to. She she was being very careful when she was in advantage. She got all the stocks that she needed to with um, Pyra, and she just kind of took that game. And, you know, this is kind of what we're going to need to see. You know, Zamba make a little bit more adaption and just kind of, you know, understand all the situations that he actually kind of got punished for when it came to just, you know, landing against Pyra. Because this is where, you know, we actually saw Frozen have the ability to, you know, catch a lot of these landings that we saw here. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, that last stage pick, the FD counter pick, did wonders for Frozen. A lot of damage coming in through catching Rob's landing. Uh, so Zomba with the counter pick to PS2. Let's see if that can help him with the landing lows or if uh, Frozen can keep up the pressure. Ooh, and gonna go for that gyro to side B. And um, Frozen did lose her jump. She lost her jump a little bit during that first interaction with, you know, the combo. So that is gonna be already a disadvantageous position for um, Frozen. But this is definitely more than doable because she just needs to do what she was doing that second game. Get Zamba in disadvantage and just take the stock with Mithra. And just a little bit of a struggle here is what we're gonna be seeing here because... You know, as we know, they're not going to take a stock too early. Mm -hmm. Yep, Mithra, you kind of have to go a little bit out of your way on a hard read to get a stock. Uh, Pyra on board maybe a little easier on it, but it's in a disadvantaged state right now, and Zamba takes great advantage of disadvantaged states. Oh, wow! I, that was so good. I didn't even know that you could do that, but that was so good from Zamba. They're going to get the down tilt into um, side B, and that was such a good kill. They took note of that, you know. That was probably one of the only ways that, you know, Frozen could actually make it back to ledge and just going to, you know, recognize that, down tilt them, and then kill them. That was absolutely super amazing. And then still going to send them back off stage. This is a little bit scary for Frozen. I mean... Are we gonna not gonna see the death right there? But that was about like four down tilts that we saw right there. Uh, uh, uh. And we're gonna see that up air three stocking frozen. That was so good from Zamba. They that was it. it was, I think that was pretty convincing. Zamba did a really good job on that one of showing uh, in response to game two, where the wind condition that Frozen she was repping was if you're in the air, I'm gonna make it a living hell to get back onto the ground and you're gonna take a bunch of percent. Zamba, if you are on the ledge, if you are off stage and I have resources, I'm gonna make it a living hell to get back. Uh, and we saw a lot of work done from Zamba on that one. So I wonder if there will be another stage that tries to perhaps play around that, maybe a larger stage, if we'll go to somewhere like FD again, or what the counterpick will be from Frozen. I mean, 
we definitely are going back to FD and this is where Frozen won that second game right here and this is definitely you know it's a very understandable why she actually would want to go back to this game however you know we're already seeing this semblance of advantage we're just seeing you know frozen put in so much you know damage already at 61 percent however she is at pyra never mind i lied she switched back and this is kind of like where i'm expecting her to just have that happen because that is that is zamba wow oh my god <laughs> yep <laughs> i feel like i'm surprised i'm sorry like just about you know rob as if you know we haven't seen rob killed an obscenely high percentage but that's like probably the uh, an immediate comeback uh, uh, just at that i mean they're both wow <laughs> yep there, there's there's still so much kill power in pyro that on stage there's a lot that can be done but we do see zumba with the very aggressive options and mithra and pyro not a crazy recovery some decent airspeed on mithra and there is ways to mix it up but if you get caught out, it's very restrictive of what you can do to get back to the stage. Absolutely. And I'm definitely, I, it looks like, um, you know, Frozen is definitely finding it a little bit harder to actually approach, you know, recovery because, like, she only has, you know, about two things, either Air Dodge or um, Photon Edge to actually get, you know, back to ledge. So this is definitely looking like a little bit of a situation where if she is off stage, she is going to have an issue. Absolutely, but getting into this, you know, Frozen is at 95%, um, 269 percent This is definitely going to be a little bit scary if she can read this landing, not going to read that landing. However, you know, this is just a little bit harder. Making it, I mean, honestly, making it even, you know, that it is Pyra and Pyra being so slow, she kind of was still throwing Zamba for a very bad disadvantage, you know, just wow. Mm -hmm. And it, mm -hmm. at higher percents, we see this too, that if... Uh, even if you do get back on stage against Zomba's Rob, if you take a decent hit, you're off stage again or off stage in the opposite direction with those down tilts chaining across the stage. Absolutely. And we're seeing Miss Frozen back in the lead again. She is definitely looking and scouting out all of these options that Zomba might have. And the kind of thing is Zomba is trying to actually, you know, get back down to the ground. However, it Frozen is just immediately stuffing out all of those options. You know, we'll see the animation start, but it won't even be able to come out because Pyro's just that fast. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But yeah, this is definitely looking very scary. I definitely think that this might need to be one of the stages that Zamba actually, you know, gets rid of because this is, I don't know how it would be compared to, you know, Battlefield or Yoshi's, but I mean, honestly, I would rather have that. Then, you know, taking a trade and reading a roll ends up smash just like that. Period. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> we definitely love that coming in from Frozen, but... I think that's a really good example of how, uh, not just the juggle, because, you know, there are options that Rob has to land between, again, the jet, the fast fall air dodge, which a lot of characters have, the nair landing. Um, but Pyra's hitboxes are so huge, and in a situation like that, you can't afford a trade, especially when Pyra has such good kill power. Um, so surviving off the up air on that one, but landing is a big problem. Even if you can manage to trade, you have to win clean and you have to get back on a good read. You can't like go halfway with it. Absolutely. And we are going to see the switch to Palutena now. I definitely can understand why Frozen does not want to go back to Pyra and Mirtha. Whenever they were on PS2, they just had a horrible time actually trying to make it back onto stage, just getting restocked in that um, third game, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. from Zamba, they were not having any of it. They knew that, you know, FD was kind of just one of their win conditions. They just need to go to FD and they can just immediately read every single option that, you know, Zamba has to do and just going to take Zamba for an air train. And although they are at 74%, they are going to try and make it even right here. But trying to get out of that, going to get thrown off for a loop with that up air and just going to die. Mm -hmm. uh, Palutena, also a light character, and unlike with Pithra, can change over to Pirate for a little bit more survivability, but you do get the better recovery in the upbeat teleport. Absolutely. Now, we just need to find, you know, um, Frozen might be needing to just kind of be a little bit careful, just kind of do what she was doing with, you know, Pyro and Mithra whenever, you know, Zamba was in disadvantage. However, she is going to get all of her options stuffed out right there. She got hit by the gyro. She saw that she needed to jump, and then she immediately got that, you know, stuffed out with, you know, laser. And we're already seeing a repeat of what happened that third game. This is a little bit scary for Frozen. 
And we're seeing very good patience from uh, Frozen on that one as well, because Palutena does have a great ledge game herself. Uh, and Frozen, not at all wasting any opportunity to push the advantage in these games, is going to take full advantage of that, as well as the juggle on Rub here, like we saw in the previous games on FD. Absolutely. Now, this is definitely where you can start seeing a little bit more of life being given to Frozen. Um, I definitely know that it's it's not like, you know, Palutena is just like, she. I think she kind of does, you know, do well against Rob. However, I think it's more just that, you know, I think Zamba has just, you know, immediately proven that whenever he has the ability to land, like, he just has platforms. It doesn't even matter, you know, like, what stage it is. It, it It's more of just him being, you know, on a stage like FD just, you know, just removes a lot of his recovery, you know, patterns and whatnot. Mm -hmm. There's very little to mix it up between, and even just having two platforms on PS2 adds an extra layer to the mix that can make Zamba's disadvantage a little easier. Absolutely, and we're gonna see that up air take that stock. Now this is where we're gonna see Frozen make uh, some sort of comeback. <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. However, we can definitely see Frozen just like immediately put you know Zamba into a, a very bad position, like we're seeing right here. Frozen needs to keep Zamba in the corner, and then whenever she gets Zamba in the air, this is where we're gonna see a little bit more comeback. Is that up there gonna take it? Not just yet. And gonna need to be very careful because she has absolutely not done a warp cancel since forever. And that was one of her mix ups that she kind of needed there in order to get back to the ground. She's at 158%. Zamba almost gonna get that grab. Not entirely just yet. However, you know, Frozen is kind of just getting called out in a lot of the situations where she needs to, you know, be very careful. And oh, that no. was so close. That mm -hmm. was where she needed to have all of that advantage that she had here. But, you know, Zamba just going to have that very nice snare from Rob and just, you know, outspace um, Frozen with that, you know, move. Just, wow. Yep. That was almost a really nice combo and, we could and have seen. It was a really dangerous situation for that, right? Because if you let Zamba get out of that disadvantage state for free, you're giving up a lot of potential damage, potential to carry that momentum into the stock and the game and the set. Um, but then you do risk getting clipped, and trades do go both ways. So at a high percent like that, Rob's big hitboxes, even if Palutena has got some fantastic disjoints of her own, uh, will eat the nair, and that will ultimately take it. Absolutely.